Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel. If you're new, my name is Tasha with Pine Knot Family Farm. Today I'm in my favorite spot, which is the garden. And I've got my helper, Austin, and we are gonna pick some cucumbers. I've been picking the cucumbers the last couple of days, trying to get enough to make a small batch of dill pickles. They're not producing just a whole lot yet. So um, it takes several days of pickings just to make a small batch right now, but pretty soon they're gonna be producing like crazy and we'll have more cucumbers than we know what to do with. So we're gonna try to pick some. We're gonna take y'all inside and show you how we do our dill pickles. What are you doing? I am gathering up some cucumbers so we can go inside and pickle. There's not gonna be many on here today because I came and picked them late yesterday evening. So I'm just trying to get a couple more. I'm hoping to get at least three or four quarts filled. Y'all can see here just the baby cucumber, how little it is when it first starts growing. All right, before we leave the garden, I have to show you once again, some of my favorite parts of the garden right now. You can see all those. Let me go show you one more part. The flowers are, are my favorite part right now. Um, we're really not getting a lot of harvest yet. We've got tomatoes that are on the verge of, of being ripe. They're just not there yet. So when all that gets started, that'll be my favorite part. I'm gonna turn you around and show you my zinnias. They've actually um, probably doubled the amount of zinnias since my last garden video. Made it back in the house. I've got the cucumbers soaking in some cold water. They're on their third rinse. What you wanna do is just kinda of rub them around in here, get any dirt or anything off, and you want to make sure and get these ends off. Normally they'll just come off when they get wet in the water. I'm gonna give them one last rinse. Get any of those blossoms that have stuck to them off, and I'm just sitting them over here on the other side of the sink. First thing that we are going to do is we're going to make our brine and once you make this brine you can save it put it in a mason jar and you can reuse it just heat it back up next time I've already poured one quart of water in here so you're going to need two quarts of water and you can use whatever pan you like I like this big dish pan and then we're going to need one quart of vinegar and make sure you use a good quality vinegar And then you're going to need some canning salt. Make sure it's not regular table salt. Get the canning salt. And you're going to use anywhere from a half a cup to one cup. I use almost a cup, not quite. We like salt. So um, if you're not a big fan of salt, I would cut it down to the half a cup. I'm just going to put this in here. And we're going to turn it on about medium. Just gonna mix this all together and we're gonna let this start to get warm. Once it starts to get warm, I'm gonna put my pickles in here to warm them up. And once they get warm, I've got jars over here just in a cake pan, a shallow cake pan full of water. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn both of these burners on. And that just keeps your jars warm. My brine is warm to the touch with my finger. It's not boiling. Um, I can leave my finger down in there and it's not burning me, but it is warm. So I'm gonna add my cucumbers. I'm just gonna let them heat up a little bit in the brine. You do not want to cook your cucumbers, so you just want them to warm up. To make these dill pickles, you're gonna need water, vinegar, canning salt, a hot pepper of your choice, I usually use either jalapeno or cayenne pepper, whatever I've got growing in the garden. Some dill sprigs, some garlic peeled, and a little bit of alum. 
Um, what I love about this is everything you can grow fresh in the garden other than the alum, the vinegar, and the canning salt would be the only things that you needed to purchase from the store. So everything else can just be fresh picked from your garden. I'm going to take and remove my cucumbers. Now I've got all the cucumbers removed, I'm going to turn the heat up on high and I'm going to get that boiling. So at this point I'm going to take my warm jars and I'm just going to start packing the cucumbers down in there. you're going to want to leave enough room for the pepper of your choice. Like I said, I've used jalapeno and I've used cayenne, either one. Then you're going to use about three little heads of garlic, um, depending on the size of them. Some of them fall apart and some of them are larger. I'm going to add those down in there. I'm going to take a couple sprigs of your dill, bend it up, and find a good spot to get it in there. And then that alum, just a pinch, sprinkle it in there. And I'm going to set this back in my water. I've got my water in my cake pan turned down really low. So I'm just going to set that in there to keep this warm and fill up the rest of my jars. up being four quarts um, the one back there is a little shot could have had a few more but four quarts of pickles um, I knew this was going to be a small batch but I didn't want any of my cucumbers to go to waste y'all can see that this is starting to bubble on the bottom so it's getting there to the boiling point and we're just going to wait on it I've got my lids back there I just turned that water off there. all right the brine is to a boil I'm going to move it over here to make sure everything is nice and tight down in there. I'm just going to ladle the brine into the jars. You're going to leave about one inch head space. So to that bottom. y'all can see there um, it's about to this part right here is where I filled it too. Y'all can see the liquid there. Okay next um, my little plastic ball canning thing broke. I've got a new one ordered it's just not here yet. But you just want to stick a knife or anything down in there and release any air bubbles. 
Then you're gonna take a paper towel dipped in a little bit of vinegar, run it along the rim to get any brine or debris that's on there. And my lids are hot from the water and I've got my rings was over here in the cake pan so they're nice and warm. Finger tight. Move on to the next one. And the good thing about this brine, like I said, you can put it in a mason jar, um, let it cool off and put it in an empty vinegar jar, just label it. Um, whatever you prefer. So next time, all you have to do is heat it up. It saves a little bit of the step and you're not wasting any of the leftovers. Once again, we're going to wipe the rim off, get one of our hot lids out, at this point we're going to put our jars in our canner, our water bath canner. You can see the water is not boiling, it is steaming, it's nice and warm, we will not get it to a boil until we get the lid on it, starts boiling, we'll process it for 10 minutes. So we've got our jars lowered down in the water. You want to make sure that they're completely covered up with about one inch of water over the top of them. We've been processing for 10 minutes. I'm going to take them out, set them over here on our towel. So here we've got our four quarts of pickles. And at this point, you're just going to let the jar seal. You'll hear a nice pop. So once you hear that beautiful popping sound, you're gonna wanna let these set for 24 hours without moving them, let them completely cool. Um, any that has not sealed, needs to go in the refrigerator at that point. If they have sealed, label them and put them on your shelf. Thank y'all for hanging out with me in my gardening kitchen today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you give this dill pickle recipe a try, leave me a comment and let me know, or let me know how you make your dill pickles. I would love to hear from y'all. The recipe for these pickles will be in the description below, so make sure you check that out. And y'all have a great day. Until next time, God bless. Don't forget to like and subscribe.